There have only been a few detections of H5N1 bird flu so far in humans, most via animal contact. Scientists say the risk is low, but they're concerned. It's a type of infection they're always watching. A SARS-1 was from a civet. MERS is from a camel. Um, uh, H1N1 was, was likely from a, a, a pig farm. Zoonotic diseases start in animals. One species spreads it, and the more it spreads, the higher the chances it mutates into something more infectious. H5N1 jumped from birds to cows. Now that it's circulating in mammals, scientists worry it could spread from human to human. It's happened before. Ebola is zoonotic. And three out of every four new or emerging infectious diseases in people come from animals, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. If we don't really know what's happening on that fringe of, of animals, um, then we don't really have a full picture of what, what's going on. British Columbia now monitors chronic wasting disease, a highly contagious fatal infection in deer detected in B.C. for the first time last February. <laughs> Vaccines can help protect against spillover infections, but making one can depend on three things. It's a bit of an economic question as well as um, a public health question and maybe a scientific question. Whether pharma companies will make enough money selling it whether the infection is poised to spread and harm many people, and whether scientists can make one. Climate change destroys habitats, pushing animals and humans together. Scientists say it's time for better worldwide monitoring and communication. We have to acknowledge this. This is only going to happen more and more. Nathaniel Dove, Global News.